Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2 everyone. I found another symbol on top of a tower and I kind of already scanned it by accident but I did not complete the puzzle so we're going to go into the menu and we're going to do it from there. So nothing is lost. I was kind of wondering why the you know national treasure symbol on the back of the dollar bill was on there. <laughs> you see what's going on? Stop it! No! Shut up, cat! Dragon Scale's cat being as lovely as ever, of course. Indeed. It seems like she's even more determined to get me to play with her while we do this. Right. Now in this one, we need to look out for every single mention there is a sword in the pictures. So... I'm trying to remember, because some of them have make look like swords, but they're not actually swords. Well, that one's obvious. Ah. Right, but I've missed one. One is incorrect. The thing I really like about these puzzles is that they try and integrate the Assassin's Creed lore, but in with all of these, all of this. It's pretty a nice touch. There we are. Look, piece of Eden sword. I thought it was apple. Yeah, there are other pieces of Eden besides the apple. Oh. Right. In their hands, the wise lean with great force. So now we're looking for every single mention of a staff. So we've got Moses, this guy, this guy. Egypt that guy. and Roman and whatever the fuck that and thing was. John the Baptist. Look, piece of Eden is a staff. Kind of looks like the Chrono Scepter. So what do you know? More objects throughout history that were actually pieces of Eden. Hmm. Everything I learned in history was a lie. Honestly, if history was as cool as Assassin's Creed history is, I would love history a lot more. Oh yeah. Right. We need to get back to looking for Jacopo because we killed pretty much all of his subordinates by now. <laughs> and good on you Ezio for doing something physically impossible. Random dead person back there. Yeah, I probably dealt with him before at some point, I don't know. Yeah. Nope, don't run on the arch Ezio, we need to go up. That was in South pretty cool. <laughs> you ran up a, inside of something like that, that was awesome. Right, here we are. What the hell's going on? So we need to follow Jacopo to the meeting that he's apparently attending, and then we're gonna kill him dead. And it'll be great. Okay. Couldn't we just use the clues that the guy gave us? He said he only met at night under the statue of the Roman thingy. Yep, so we just need to find him. There he is. Follow him. He'll lead me to his Templar brothers. I'll have more names for my least. Yeah. Oh, uh, so we can't just like murder his face? That sucks. Well, no, we need to follow into everyone else's so then we can kill, have names for the rest of them. Because there's not just hit the patsies involved. Obviously, I'm not climbing down that way. There you go, it's your. <laughs> yeah, free running's still a little bit glitchy in two, but they do fix it as the series goes on. So, hmm. it's, it's all fine. The more we go through this, the more I agree with the other people saying that Sly Cooper is, like, an animated Assassin's Creed. <laughs> go away, Mines! Ugh. I, I hate them. Oh. What's going on here? Okay, late. I thought you turned around and saw me then. Oh, no one saw you, Yakapo. Oh, you're in for a shock, aren't you? And the problem is, I just need to make sure I don't get too close, otherwise he will turn around and see me. I mean, I can I have time to get away, but I also can't break my line of sight, otherwise I lose him then. Okay, so you're following the blue dot, right? Yeah, that's him. He's got a guard following him as well. And he's gonna get more as it goes on, so... As long as I take cover in people and I don't let him fall out of sight, everything will be okay. Yeah. So yeah, there's not much to say about this except just kind of following. Yep, just follow this guy! Don't worry. Sadly, we can't do it from the rooftops. <clears throat> well, we could, but from the rooftops, it's a lot harder to keep the camera on him. And obviously, if the camera's not on him for a long period of time, I'll use the horse as protection, then um, obviously that counter comes down and it's like, uh, you've lost him! Bye! Aww. So the, prob the problem is that with loads of guards in the way, oh, I need okay, these. But you can still see his little arrow thing, doesn't that count? Or does he have to be in Ezio's line of sight? Yeah, he has to be in Ezio's line of sight because obviously we're playing through memories. It's like you'll desynchronize if Ezio loses sight of him because that's not what actually happened. Ah. Sorry about that, just had to edit some small capture software issues, but now we're back. Yay! So are you, as of right now, still recording this from the PS3 or uh, Steam? 
Oh no, this is this entire Assassin's Creed 2 run through will be from the PS3. Okay. But um, the future ones in Brotherhood and Revelations I will be doing from the PC because it's easier and it'll look better. Go away, mine. Yeah, they just love to like get in my way, don't they? Yeah, they're annoying. I have a oh, maybe they're Templars in disguise. <gasps> kill that, them. That's why they should die. I have an excuse. <laughs> Ezio, why did you kill all those <laughs> all those minstrels? Because they're Templars. No, they weren't. But they're annoying. <laughs> well, okay, then I suppose I'll let you off this once. <laughs> like, come on now, you, you you can't tell me that they're not annoying. True. Many a time back in the old days of the Brotherhood. They used to get in my way and steal my money like the bastards they were. You know, in the future they become black, white, and silent. They are known as mimes. Oh, truly a horrifying experience. So they must be destroyed, now! Oh god, that just on cue. Get out of my way, I hate you. Get out, move. <laughs> I literally can't move. Get out of my way. Oh my god, get move! I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna kill you all! I'm <laughs> gonna lose sight of him, let me go! Damn it! I've got, I've got 10 seconds. Right, fuck it. You know what? No! I'm gonna lose! Ezio, run, 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 Oh! Fucking mimes! I hate mimes. I told you! They're awful! You should kill every single one of them! Okay, everything's fine because it's just a desync. We can do this again. And I think we should have reached a checkpoint, so we won't have to do all that again. Because if we did, I may scream. <laughs> What's going on here? Are they late? They haven't seen me. This much I know. Mind. All right, I'm just gonna. That's probably one reason why I probably should stay on the roofs. You get away right now. <laughs> you get away, or I will stab you. <laughs> As of right now, Curse Skill TV is completely anti-mime. Oh, minstrel, whatever the hell they're called in this time period. I don't know, they just get in my way and they need to go away. Those are the mime predecessors, the ancient mimes. <laughs> the mimes of old. <laughs> it's like, follow in our ways, young mime, and you too can learn. It's like, why the hell would I want to do that? Because why would I want to be as annoying as you are being to me right now? <laughs> It's like, Papa, I want to be a dentist. No, you'll be a mime and you will annoy the shit out of everyone you come across. <laughs> I still love how, like, I have two women just next to me and that makes me invisible. Because everybody's more focused on the women. They don't care about you. Good question. Now, hopefully the MIME! Oh, Alright, I, th I think we've come up with a name for this episode. It's just going to be MIMES in big letters. <laughs> it's like death to mimes. Go away, you evil little shit. Right, I'm just I'm telling you, they're Templars. We need to destroy them. Right, I'm just moving. I'm I'm not dealing with this right now. I'm going to stay above where they can't get me. And everything will be jolly. Oh, I can't even stay up because the guards will get me. So yeah, it's like, if they see you, do you fail? Um, not so much fail, but it'll probably mean that others will see me and it'll cause a problem. Which yeah. is not the best. Yeah. Here's my question, I've seen that guy with, the, with, the, with like a cart. Is that the equivalent of the uh, Avatar Cabbage Man? I don't know, because I don't oh, know who- oh, uh, <laughs> No, I'm gonna lose him again. No, alright, screw you guys. Let them have it. Kill them! Get right. the hell out of the way! No! Alright, right. mercenaries, the you deal with- Oh, don't see me, Yakapo! Alright, you mercenaries deal with them. I'm just gonna calmly stroll away and everything will be golden. Like, where's the guy that hate us? Who the fuck cares? Okay. Do not turn around, you shit. We are not gonna have to deal with the mimes again. All right, Jacopo, I know you're like old, but holy the fuck, move. Oh, I reached a checkpoint, thank God for that. Well. Thank you, now we're not gonna deal with the fucking mimes. Yeah, it, the mimes should not be outside. If they are, something is terribly wrong and the world is conspiring against me. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're Templars. They're secret Templars, undercover Templars. 
I still, I still like the fact that I'm really not that far away from him, and it's like, there's no one following me except this really weird, suspicious man in a hood. <laughs> it's like, who is that guy dressed like an eagle? Uh, who cares? Okay. I mean, it's not like the assassin's ever dressed, is it? Oh. Like, oh shit. It's like, wait, isn't there some kind of an assassin guy after you? Yeah, but they wouldn't dress so conspicuously. They'd keep to the shadows, you know? So I can't see them. It's like, knife to the throat! Oh, God! Uh, I've made a bad choice. He's <laughs> like, I'm... Fucked up. Good on you, assassin. You fooled me. It's like, no, you're just stupid. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> man, you're just you're, you're an idiot. That's all. <laughs> it's like you needed to die, but I'm just sorry I didn't get to you before you bred. What the hell? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Like, oh fuck, who are these guys? Oh right, there's another eye symbol on this area. I'll need to get that later. Um. Right. Gods, no. Oh shit, go away. No, 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 All right. no, 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 no. Deal with my friends. I'm going to get to Yakupo. What What are they doing? <laughs> They're going after Yakupo, I think. Another mercenary? What? <laughs> guys, what? Dad, do the guy's gonna kill you! Okay. Aww. Oh, fuck, he saw you. He saw me just as I got him. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. It's not the mimes, it's your incompetent mercenaries. Okay, we got a checkpoint though, so we will do this. Right, this video is not going to finish until Jacopo is dead, okay? <laughs> Let her mention Venezia. Uh, there Templars there as yes, well. we heard about Venice. Venezia. <laughs> hey, maybe we'll meet Sly there. <laughs> and his horrible Italian accent. You have the worst Italian accent I've ever heard! No offense. <laughs> I like to think I can do a pretty good Bentley, actually. You actually can. <laughs> it's kind of neat. Especially considering, isn't isn't a lot of, uh, well, no, I guess it wouldn't it wouldn't be, because they did skits on uh, Second Funniest Podcast. Because I thought, I thought a lot of it was, like, computer messing with his voice. Oh, no, it, you just have to make your voice sound very nasal. Oh, yeah. To do it, and you can just kind of—it's just kind of like a general nerdy accent, really. Yeah. But and just some of the way he pronounces words, like Murray Sly. It's <laughs> yeah. You have to have like the kind of accent <laughs> going on there. <laughs> oh no, it's Carmelita, and she's going after Sly. <laughs> I build a time machine, <laughs> even though that makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> After you. Penelope, why? <laughs> I, that, that, that was another thing that didn't make any sense. And he's like, what the fuck? What the, 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 okay, so apparently you got stupid. And... It, it, it was a nice kind of like twist, but the reasoning for it was pretty shit. Yeah, the reasoning for it sucked. I mean, I love the twist, but I, I kind of figured out who it was as soon as Bentley had his little mission. like, wait a second here. Wait a second here. Nah, nah. Oh, it, oh no, it's mousy boobs. <laughs> mousy boobs. I loved those mousy boobs. Why would you do this to me? Oh, poor little Bentley. He's the rejected Ninja Turtle. Clearly. As the others would be here. Oh, hey, look, it's the ghost of Satan. To say nothing of the fact that Firenze remains. Well, he's not a ghost. It's oh, Francesco's fault. His impatience made him reckless. I, I tried to be the voice of a This is not going to end well for you, is it, Yakupa? Oh, dear. Is it me, or does he have a, have a hint of a Jewish accent there in some cases? Oh. oh. We what? put our faith in your family, and you repay us with inaction and incompetence? Then when asked to account for your failures, you make excuses and insult us? How do you expect me to respond? I don't know. I do. It's all right. Death! I... Sword in the face! Oh. No. Please. No. No. Don't. He's, He's already, already done it. it. <laughs> it's like, that's something you say before they stab you, and oh wow, squirts. <laughs> it's ill will press all over again. Spare me. Well, what's happening with your eyes, dude? It's like, <laughs> oh damn. What a 
<laughs> Sorry to be back. So well, that, that makes our job easier, your I guess. Rice. Assassin. The fuck? Oh, what the hell? Who? What? Your hood you wasn't so conspicuous after all. Fuck! That they I saw didn't me. plan for it. Bullshit. We've been at this a lot longer than you. Okay. Brilliant. Where's that red light coming from? I know you're only doing as you're told. So if you release me, I will spare your lives. Ha! Listen! Ha! Listen to me! You think these guys would get the message like, oh fuck, uh, we don't want no part of this. Uh, end his suffering. Finish him. I'm surprised he's still alive after having a sword through his neck. Well, that was kind of nice of you, Ezio, considering that he was responsible for maybe killing your family. Oh, you get! He looks back you in the face like, I was trying to be a nice guy! Trying to send him peacefully into the afterlife, and you, you punch me in the face! With a yes. sword! I mean, dude! What the hell? <laughs> I'm going to hide in what looks like weed. He just takes like a big inhale. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? This is nice. I'm going to get my mercenaries and we're going to take the whole fucking lot of this. Woohoo! We did it! We killed someone. <laughs> Again. Well, that sequence five finished. So, now the plot thickens, we've got some new people to go after, we've got some new Templar things, so it's not done yet. We've still got plenty to do. Mm -hmm. I still want to know what causes that red glow in that guy's hood. Does he have like a red light bulb in there? Uh, like, he just has one of his soldiers like, HOLD THAT LIGHT UP, I WANT TO LOOK MENACING! <laughs> yes sir! Either that, or it's just maybe like the fact that he's pure evil, and it just makes him look evil. He has an aura of red about him. Okay, so if you choose an evil path, you know you've reached the pinnacle of evil when you get the red glow. <laughs> yeah, when you reach the red glow, you've gotten to the best. It's the ranking system, bitch! White glow, eh, you're getting there. Pink glow, maybe a little bit more. But red, red oh. whoa, you've, you've gone places, man. <laughs> Like, dude, command I... me, teach me the ways of the douche. And I'm always going to love those loading sequences. Anyway, with Yakupo dead, we now need to move on and try and find out who else is going to be around. So join us the next video where we'll kill more people. Bye-bye!